Welcome back to Firefly Studios. My name is Katia, and today we are going to continue our C Sharp fundamentals, this time going into how to make an object look at the mouse. Um, as you can see, uh, this is very useful for a top down game uh, where you want the player's weapon to fire in the direction that the player is looking or where they have their mouse. Um, so let's jump right into it. This is pretty much all code. Um, so in our script right here, uh, the only reference you need is a transform reference, and we are caching that in our start by just setting it equal to this dot transform. That way we don't have to look it up every time we need to use that variable, so it's more performative. And then I created a function that looks at our mouse. So the first thing this function uses is a vector two direction. It needs to calculate which direction we need to turn it. So we get our camera.main which is our main camera. Every project is gonna have one of these by default. Then we use screen to world point, and then we have to give it a location. So we're giving it our mouse position, and it's converting from screen space to world space, to your actual coordinates in the game. And then we are gonna subtract our position, which will give us our direction, so from us to that point. Then we create a float called angle, and we're gonna get its a tangent between our directions x and y and can then convert that to degrees. This is going to convert it to a, a float number that we can use in a quaternion to have us face the correct angle. Then we just do quaternion rotation, so a new quaternion variable. We're going to use angle axes, which rotates something around an axis. And we're going to give it the angle we want to rotate towards and the axis we want to rotate around. In a 2D game, it's always going to be vector 3.4. That's your z-axis. Um, this minus 90 will vary depending on how your art is set up. So if your art is facing to the right by default, like this art mostly is, you can see how it's, if I open up the art file right here, it's facing diagonally, um, you will want to do the minus 90. If it's facing to the left, you'll want to do plus 90. And then you might have to experiment with it if your art is facing in other weird angles. Um, but this section right here is going to be called in the update. There's a couple things you can do to optimize it. The main thing is change this camera.main to a cached variable. Um, the reason for that is camera.main is doing a find object with tag every frame and that gets fairly expensive. I hope you found this interesting. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you in the next one.